you talked about trying to get along with your families now, which I think a lot of people are trying to do, but usually you're on the road, probably trying to get along with each other. You guys spend a lot of time on the road. I don't know if you have the rule of what goes on the road stays on the road, but I want you to break that rule right now because I've heard a few stories of what goes on when you guys are out there. Uh, one being about a snowstorm in Portage this year and all the power went out. Yeah, well, one of the, you know, Fry was mentioning earlier, one of the events you circle on the calendar is is in Portage. And um, it was, I think, mid uh, October. And um, we knew there was going to be a big snowstorm when we uh, when we were playing there. And just as we were landing, um, the snow started to hit. And uh, actually, Matt was supposed to come in. Of course, he flies everywhere from Ottawa. The other three of us, we, we fly from Toronto everywhere. So yeah, it uh, it turns out actually Matt never made it to uh, to Portage that weekend. Um, but when we uh, we got close, you got <laughs> close, close. But after we got there, they they shut down the highway, uh, so nobody could uh, you know could travel in. And so right when we started our uh, our first game, the power in the uh, in the building kept uh, flickering on and off, and um, and. I think we were in the second or third end and the other team, they were throwing a, a really uh, kind of heavyweight shot and uh, the lights just went out. And then they kind of came back on. I, I mean, I jumped off the ice because the rock was flying down the uh, the sheet. <laughs> um, but, a, side, uh, a side note, a side note to that age, eh, honey, is the fact that we were in absolute jail that end. <laughs> <laughs> I missed, I, I missed two yeah. shots horribly that we were probably going to give up a four ender and then the lights went off. So it was an easy fix. We just left the curling rink and I never had to see those two shots again. Awesome. Yeah. yeah and nothing is, is in curling, but you can play with three players. So, I mean, kind of oh. kind of sucks for Langer. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of normal, and yeah, I'm glad you pointed that out, Fry. I was gonna have to throw you under the bus. I thought it <laughs> the lights out after those two bricks you threw in the third there, but uh, yeah. you were saved. You know, it's that clean, yeah. clean good things good happen to good people. You were saved. Oh, you pay the right guys <laughs> to flick off the power. Things go well. Awesome. So you guys, uh, you play poker every Sunday, true? Is that how it works on the platform? Pretty much. Some so some longer some longer than others. Brian, Brian and I play for about 12 minutes. That's it? I pretty, I pretty much paid back the sponsorship just on my Sunday <laughs> poker game. It's fantastic. So you're the worst then, Ryan? Is that what I'm getting? I want to know who the worst and the best player. Going in, Going into it, I was very confident thinking that I was going to be the best, but I've uh, I've humbled myself quite quite aggressively with uh, how poorly I am. Like, I am very bad at poker. It's it is not even if i had any aspirations of becoming a poker star that has evaporated very quickly right yeah no john's definitely the best poker player you are matt you're the best i'm no i'm brutal i don't even know how to play <laughs> matt does not matt does not gamble like he's he's great because i i love to gamble so i'm like i love to go to the casino and like matt's just like he's just the best sport because he'll just come with me and hang out and have a couple of beers while Watch. I while I gamble. So like, it's... and then Johnny will feel bad for me, and then he'll give me fifty bucks, and I'll win him four hundred bucks, and then I just <laughs> don't like. It. <laughs> it's so true, you guys. Are you like in training at all? Are you trying to stay in shape, or is it the quarantine fifteen that you're all battling? Have you guys heard that fifteen pounds everybody's supposed to gain? I'd have to I'd have to weigh myself to find out, and I'm never going to put myself through that. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a different time. I mean, we're, we're fortunate. We've got a, a pretty decent setup downstairs. And unfortunately for me, we also have a good gymnastics setup for our seven-year-old daughter. And I tried to do, I don't even know what it's called. I tried to do something and I'm not seven years old anymore. So I, I stopped doing that, but we're trying. We're trying to stay, you know, stay stay in some sort of uh, game shape, hoping that we're going to play by September. And, um, but yeah, like Ryan said, I mean, being at home, uh, that liquor cabinet door is, seems to be calling my name more than it normally does in the off season. And, you know, you just want to hang out with the family and relax and, you know, eat some good food. So it's it's been a challenge for sure. It's It's been a strange time. John and Matt, you guys staying in shape or what's your... Well, I'm, I'm trying. I don't have a nice setup at home, so I don't have a gym. So I go for a lot of walks with the little one, go for some runs. She has a little jogger that she likes to hang out in. And then uh, luckily for me, my work started up, so... That's a lot of wheelbarrowing and shoveling and hammering. So, you're telling us that what you're doing for training for the season is running and trying to keep up with your three year old? 
Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> we might have to, we might we might have to get a chaperone for you, Maddie. <laughs> you can have her for a day, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet. You'll put twenty thousand steps. <laughs> Matt's always Matt's always in the best shape by the time. Yeah, for sure. Swinging for sure. the jack. <laughs> jack. The guy's twenty nine, Fry. Just leave him alone. He's in his twenties still. Yeah, I know. No, I know, bud. Oh, you're 30 now. Oh, then you got to start. Yeah, we missed my birthday. Uh, lockdown. We were going to go to Vegas. What happened? Yeah, we were on lockdown. We didn't want to go to Vegas. I get the juice. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to go to Vegas. Matt, you're supposed to be in Vegas right now. Really? You yeah, guys? right now. Yeah. I was supposed to be in Cabo right now. Yeah. Screw it all. Yeah, we all book we all book our trips in May right after the curling season is done. It's kind of our oh. yeah, do our little getaway. Well, hopefully everything kind of shifts forward and you can still get in some trips kind of down the road. Thanks for doing this, guys. Stay well and uh, looking forward to see you all back uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Hope so. Thanks, Natasha. Okay. See ya.